Good morning, welcome, welcome everybody. Welcome to my channel, my name is Chrissy, and today I'm gonna to be giving you a prediction reading for the 12th of November. Now I'm coming to you from my kitchen today. Um, this is my kitchen, so you'll see why my black lounge room is gonna match my kitchen, because it's right next door. Um, I've got my plants, you know, I'm so obsessed with bringing nature into the house. We talk about that a lot, guys. So I'm coming to you from a different room in the house because it's too hot to shoot outside today. 31 again here today and that is really hot. Uh, I had the air conditioning on all day yesterday and we pretty much hung inside. Uh, it was really, really hot and then the wind came up and it just was just, you know, when you don't like being out in that kind of dry wind. Um, look, I hope you guys are going well. I'm really loving your feedback about my little mini readings. Um, I'll get to everybody, don't worry. Um, I'm doing two card readings if you're not sure what I'm talking about. I'm doing two card pulls for my viewers because you guys have just supported my channel all the way through. I know who you all are. Um, you know, I'm, I reply to you all. I get to know you guys on a really sort of personal level. And it's beautiful because a lot of us got very lost during the last four years, I would say. <clears throat> so I will get to everybody. So pa be patient, everybody. But I'm really glad to get your feedback and I'm glad you're enjoying it. Look, it's just a little bit of guidance to probably, or hopefully, help everybody through um, the absolute... I don't even know what you'd call the last four years. <laughs> well, we call it the clown show of entertainment, don't we? But it's been a bit of a shit show, really, if we tell the actual truth. Um, yesterday, I pulled you, Sue, and I pulled you, Adam. So go check those out. I know you already have, Sue. Um, I've got to get on and check my comments too, guys. So I will get back to you if YouTube gives me my comments. Sometimes they delay them by a day or two, sometimes a year. But, you know, I love hearing from you, so please... Don't be perturbed. Please write to me. And always hit those like buttons too because you know that helps me a lot. And consider subscribing. Did I say that? I can't remember. Anyway, thank you for that as well. And yes, my little channel's got a little bit of traction, a little bit of movement. So fingers crossed it keeps going in that direction. Um, cheers, Yvonne. I've got my coffee. You guys are really kind. I just want you to know that like from my heart to yours, I do appreciate your kindness. You're always just encourage me and oh, you just say really lovely things. So thank you to all of you. I do appreciate it. Um, now we've got a little, oh, of course, Charlie's got to make a guest appearance, my blind cat. She's checking where she is. It's all right, Charlie. Whoops, 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 whoops. Um, <clears throat> Sorry about the echolocation that she's doing. She's very loud. I keep saying she's so loud. Um, guys, we've got a little bit of admin from down under. Yes, we have. We always do. Um, the old ports have closed down here in Australia. Fancy that. I was telling you there were protests at the ports the other day around Israel-Palestine events. Um, so now... oh. All of a sudden, there's a big cyber security issue going on around all the ports of Australia. Now, I'm wondering, I'm wondering, it's just me, I wonder if this has anything to do with Elbow and Panda. I don't know. Just saying. We don't know because they only feed us what they want to feed us, don't they? So whether there's something change going on with the ports, we do have to wonder. So massive cyber security problem. So everything's pretty much just sitting on the docks at the moment. Um, pretty major if you think about it. No importing and exporting at the present time. Um, the other thing is the protests are getting so much bigger here. It's crazy nuts. They're getting out of control. I know they are everywhere. We said London and that you were going to have massive ones. Well, down under it's getting huge too. Pretty much every major city is having them. Sydney, Perth. Oh, Melbourne. And of course, Melbourne's got the worst ones. Of course they have because it's, you know. So they're still getting pepper sprayed and all this kind of stuff. So they're a little out of control down in Melbourne. Apparently they're out of control. That was yesterday. Um, and the other thing I did have a good clap, guys, which you probably did as well, is oh, Biden giving his lovely speech on Veterans Day yesterday. Have you checked it out, guys? Oh, my God. <clears throat> which Biden was that, do you think? Oh, I'm thinking it was the... Um, the... Um, doppelganger. Because... He, he made too much sense, didn't he? He spoke too much logic. <laughs> it's like somebody else. You can't believe it. Go check it out, guys. It's completely mad. It is. 
But then they showed another one of him coming up the stairs and then the hand went out like he was going to shake someone's hand and no one was there. It's just crazy. Oh, guys, I'm going to have to turn the air conditioning on because it's just so hot in here. I'll be two seconds. Hold the fort. Hold everything. <clears throat> oh, sorry, guys. I hope it's not noisy. It's 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 just getting hot. I'm just sweating. Um, and the other thing I just wanted to say is up on my on my um, YouTube feed this morning, uh, a woman popped up. You'd know her in America, Marsha Blackburn. I don't know her. I don't know who she is, but she was talking about which I thought wasn't bad because it keeps it in people's faces. We know nothing pretty much ever comes of anything, but she was talking about the um, about a subpoena for the Jeff, Jeffrey Epstein flight logs. So they're pushing this again. Oh, imagine if it ever came out. Oh my God, it would be. Could you imagine if that information ever came out? Oh my God, how many careers would go down the toilet? Oh, oh fingers that the truth come out. Because they're pedophiles. We all know it. We all know it here on my channel. Oh, that air conditioning is good. It's coming over now. Where would you be without air conditioning? Especially when you go through the menopausal flushes, girls. I have it on all night and everything. Um, it's mad. All right, how about I close my eyes, guys. We'll get started. Enough of me raving on. And we'll see what comes up. I'll just move my glasses. <clears throat> Gosh, they're saying to me the storm is about to hit. <laughs> this sounds good, guys. But it sounds to me like the awakening storm. This is the storm of awakening. This is this huge shift. It's showing me the wave is coming up. It's like rolling back on itself and it's about to go crash. This awakening is speeding up. Oh, at last. We talk about it here always being as slow as a snail, don't we, guys? But now it's, it's speeding up. It's getting, it, oh, it's ready to crash. Everything's ready to crash. We know um, pretty much financially everything's ready to crash. We know that for an absolute fact. And that's globally as well. Um, hang on a minute. And it's showing me like a typical tsunami situation. People are running for the hills. They're running now. And I would say not only running from all the stresses and the things that are being just rolled out and thrown on top of them, like the big tsunami wave, but they're running from government. People don't want it. People do not want the shit that they're trying to bring out. Um, like we all know here, we know about the global reset. We know they're trying to reset everything. Um, but a lot of these people, and I keep saying it, they're doing the crime investigation board. They're starting to figure it out. But they still, a lot haven't got to the end result. A lot still haven't figured out, well, Bill Gates, Elon Musk, Biden, blah, 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 Z Ping, all the above. And always, no, not to forget Fauci. We can't forget Fauci was in there too equals the great reset and then underneath that you've got all the leaders as well like your macrons and your trudeaus and all everybody elbow and everybody they still haven't worked out that this equals a big ponzi pyramid scam which is only going to suit the global elites oh my god i can't believe oh. anyway i'm not even gonna go there Sorry, I get so many thoughts in my head sometimes. I know you guys understand. So this is what I'm getting. They still haven't, but they're running from it. Because, see, you know why they're running? And Well, they're not literally running, but they're in their mind they want to run because they know it's going to be a disaster. People know this is all heading to disaster now. I'm getting the scream face again. Remember, you know that painting, the scream? Or it's like this and it's like this distorted person screaming and it's called, it's actually called the scream. That's what these people are going through now. Um, not only are they in shock and they're anger beast mode and all this kind of stuff, but they're, they're just doing the scream face. Um, because when you wake up, it's pretty mortifying. That was the word I got the other day for them. But they're still, uh, a lot still don't have what, well, they still don't have the, this, 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 and this equals this. And it's like they haven't solved the crime yet. That's probably what I'm trying to say. They haven't found the murderer. You know how they say that on Harry Potter? He's a murderer. <laughs> 
Well, they haven't found the murderer. We know there's probably a few murderers. I won't even go down that road on this channel because we'll get told misinformation and disinformation. You know that we will. Um, so they haven't figured out who the actual crime person or the criminal, well, we could call them the criminal. That would probably be safer to call them, wouldn't it? They haven't worked out who the criminal is, which is really, is you know, Cotton Schwab and company um, who, well, he's the original writer of the book. So I guess we could sort of blame him anyway, because he's out there. Um, so they still, and that's the frustrating part, guys, they still don't know. Oh, a lot of them do. And now they're running from the great big tsunami that they can see. Well, they can see it now. How can you not see that it's coming your way? You know, all the cyber shutdowns of everything. We were talking about the Optus um, telco outage here in Australia the other day that was so inconvenient. Oh, guys, I've got to share with you. Yes, I have to while I think of it. I was talking to my mum about it the other night. And you know, my mum, she's pretty asleep. But... She slipped up and told me, you know, my sister, who is the one who says that cash is so archaic and it's all dirty because she kind of believed the narrative that, you know, money's very dirty and carries all the, you know, CB germs and viruses and all that. Um, I love my sister. I love my sister to death. And, death. and as you know, we always agree to disagree. Um, we're on very different realities. But my mum slipped up the other day and I was talking to my mum about it, how what happened with that guy on the phone and he had all his cards on his phone and he couldn't even open his phone to use his cards, which we knew was always going to happen, didn't we, guys? And she actually said that um, my sister actually told her a few months ago, make sure you always carry some cash. <coughs> <coughs> so I thought that was brilliant because my sister was anti-cash. She did not want it. So I figured if she's thinking like that, oh, we better carry some cash, she's been caught out. And I reckon it's happening to a lot of people worldwide and they're getting caught out and then they're realizing, God, we better keep some cash in our purses or keep cash alive. So if she's waking up, guys, I know you've followed my whole journey. This is brilliant. It's so good, isn't it? Oh, it's so good. So I just had to share that with you because I, I never thought that would come out of her mouth because <clears throat> she was very anti-cash. So that's just one person, but I reckon there's zillions of them. So this is where they're starting to run because they're starting to see what's coming at them. See, people are starting to see their future might be not be so smooth. Um, if you can't use your card or your phone or whatever might be ha happening, for example, even the ports here in Australia with the big cyber issue now shut down, very inconvenient. There's a lot of things that are, seem to be um, rolling over the top of the little people. And they're running. They're running now. Oh, that's good. I'm getting for them. You know how often we get that Kate Bush song running up that hill? Um, well, that's what's happening now with a lot of people who are waking up. There's movement. <laughs> There's movement in the shift. The great awakening, the great shift is happening, guys. Oh, let's hope it starts to move the frequency up with it because the frequency's been pretty crap lately, hasn't it? We've all been feeling it, haven't we? Um, so I am getting there's a lot of them start. Well, they're just starting. It's showing me them at the bottom and they're starting to scramble up the hill. Oh, fingers. Fingers, they escape all this crap. And really what it is, is for the people waking up, not you guys watching my channel, you've already been through all this. Um, they're, they're trying to get up that hill because what it does by, by moving up, they bring their frequency up and they start to live with their, their from their feeling place more, their knowing, their gut feelings, they, they understand it, they live with purpose. Um, it's starting to happen, guys. There's going to be, whoo, I would say, oh my God, it's, it's, it's getting faster. That's the word I'm getting, faster. We're no longer in the snail, waking up snail stage. It has been very slow. It's taken like four years, hasn't it, for a lot of movement. But I feel like things are, are speeding up. Um, they're going a lot faster now. Um, oh, oh, I think it's still a little slow because they're showing me a turtle, which a turtle can be a little slow. And when I think of a turtle, 
um, what they're saying is like a snail is very slow, but a turtle is a little faster. But the problem with the turtle is they go a little distance and then they pull their head in. If they get a little bit nervous, they pull their head in and they stop for a bit. And that's what's happening with the people waking up. They're having moments where they're kind of stopping and hiding for a bit, um, taking things in, and then they're moving a little bit again if they feel uncomfortable or unsure about something. So that's what I'm getting. Uh, so it's not, it's not like beep beep the road runner and they're taking off remember the road runner <laughs> beep beep you'll catch him if you through the road runner <laughs> that's such an old cartoon is it look it up if you don't know what it is he was what was he an ostrich or he was so fast he was this bird on two legs wasn't he i don't even know what he was was he an ostrich was he an ostrich what's those other birds oh we call them Emu, emu. It was an ostrich or an emu, something. We call them emus here in Australia. God, don't worry about me. Um, <clears throat> we're not at that stage yet, guys. We were the, uh, I would say we were the roadrunners. When this whole thing began in the very beginning, we were the roadrunners. And we went beep, beep, and we took off. And no one could catch us. We just left. And we did our awakening very early on in the beginning of this whole reset rollout. We just took off and we found a way clear. <clears throat> and we just left dust behind. I'm going to leave a film clip of that on my Facebook page, Chrissy Fitzgerald Psychic Life Coach, guys, because it'll give you a good visual of us in the very beginning of this when we all bolted um, and took off from government. <laughs> oh, the Roadrunner. It's such an old cartoon. All right, let's see what else we get. <clears throat> Gosh, I'm getting... I get a lot of England... UK, London, the whole the whole area. I'm getting there's a real mourning process going on there. And it's not the death of anybody. Mm. If only it was the death of the Royal Kardashians, we'd be all happy about that. But it's not. It's the death of its... Um, oh, this is good, guys. It's the death of its inner soul. See, all I reckon... What's happening in England, London, UK and all this surrounding areas is it scotland Ireland, wales everywhere like this <clears throat> they don't want to be run by the royal kardashians and i feel it, it's around see chucky's not a good leader people do not like chucky i keep saying chucky's king charles if anyone's new here chucky people do not want to chucky and they don't want him running their country and they do not want him involved in their politics and as we all know on this channel Chucky's a very big WEF representative, isn't he? Puppet. Oh, I called him a puppet the other day. As we all know here, the royals run way, way back. They go way back in this whole clown show story. They play a massive part. But I feel like it's... <clears throat> I'm getting... I'm just getting that death to the Kardashians. People aren't interested. People are not interested. The, the English royals... Uh, it's showing pictures of, to me, of them melting on the balcony. They're just melting away. You know, yeah, people might enjoy one day a pageantry and they all come out and clap and that, but really, people aren't interested in it anymore. I don't think, I don't think, oh, I mean, you probably do because you still get tourists, but I don't think the sales of the, like, coffee cups with the queen on it, you know, when it used to have the queen on it, that was huge. She was huge. And I reckon sales have dropped. I reckon everything's dropped. You know, a tea towel with the royals on it dropped. I'm sure they're not selling too many with Meghan and Harry's wedding on them and things like that. It might be the odd one, but I'm not seeing that it's like, you know, killing it. <clears throat> and that, to me, would be an indicator that the royal pageantry and the interest in the royals is really dying. I do feel it's, there's a, it's like this morning... You know, and the thing is, when people have grown up with this in England, London, UK and all this, it's a big part of children's lives and that. So it's almost like people are mourning that. It's like grief, like a death. It's not the same anymore. It's not the same. And people um, are looking to fill that void as well. Like, well, <clears throat> you know, it's just, uh, they're just not on the world stage anymore, even within their own country. That's what I'm getting. So I'm getting this like mourning period for the people. And, and like I said, people are waking up in the UK that 
Chucky does not have their best interests at heart. They know Sushi does not have their best interests at heart. And now they're feeling, um, what's the word? They're feeling uncared for. That's the word I'm getting for UK. Their people are feeling uncared for. Um, you know, when people think of the queen, it, it was with, I know she wasn't perfect. I'm not saying she was, but there's, she had a kindness and a warmth to her that made, that filled people up. Chucky doesn't fill people up and we know that Sushi doesn't fill anyone up except himself in his own pockets probably. Um, so I'm getting that. There's this, <clears throat> it's like, it's like a loss. There's a mourning. I'm just getting this mourning period. Um, but it's not around a death. It's just around a loss. Because the royal, and probably, I, I guess what I'm thinking is the royal pageantry probably made people happy and united and fun and all this kind of thing. And, it, and it's just not there anymore. It's just not there anymore. There's, that people aren't getting that, I could, you could call it the royal fix. It's like a drug, you know, you get that upper. But people aren't getting the upper now. <laughs> That's just an analogy. I'm not saying anyone's on drugs, but I'm just saying it's like that heroin hit. You know, you get your royal hit, you hit up with the, the big royal event. There was always a royal event or big exciting, and it brings out the good vibe in people. Well, that's not there anymore. So it's almost like people are, have, are having to detox off the royal vibration. They're detoxing off it. And plus, and it's not just that they're detoxing off the royals, but... Their, the rest of their life is pretty much, let's face it, and this is global, not just there in the UK, everyone's life is turning to a big pile of shit. It is. It's turning to a big pile of shit because nothing's looking too promising in the future, as we know here. Everything's going up. Cost of living's out of control. People are having to forego their mortgages. Businesses are closing down every minute of the day. Like... Well, that's great. That's giving people lots to look forward to, isn't it? So, you know, and more and more people just seem to be burying themselves <laughs> into Netflix, Stan, <laughs> all of the above um, streaming channels because what else can they do? They can't even afford to go to the movies. Have you been to the movies lately? Whoo! That's getting expensive by the time you buy your popcorn and everything, isn't it? You can't come out of that for under 100 bucks just for two people even. Can't imagine taking family of five or something. You wouldn't be able to. You'd have to save up for months, let alone go on holidays, which is their main goal. Um, so that's what I'm getting for England. It's just not the same. The Royal Kardashians ain't bringing it anymore. It's just, it's it's flatlined. The Royals are flat. Oh, the poor old Royal Kardashians. They're flatlined. Oh, <laughs> no surprise to us here, is it? Maybe people are finally seeing the truth about all of, all of uh, um, their past. Anyway, all right, let's keep going. <clears throat> Getting New Zealand. We've got Chris Luxton now. He's, he's still got to mix with the, the main people. I keep telling you that. That's all normal because he's got to, you know, still be wheeling and dealing and all this kind of stuff. Um, oh, hang on a minute. I just left my head then. Yeah, and I am. I'm getting that everything has settled. The other week I got is all on the lullabouts laying around the pool, having a rest, like a bit of respite. And I do feel like it's it's settled for a bit. He's too busy. See, he's too, he's not... No, he's too busy... <clears throat> oh, I don't want to say it, but I have to say it. He's too busy moving in with the crowd. He's moving in like... His energy is going towards, I would say, the WEF and the IT crowd. His energy has to move towards that for now, um, because he, because he's got to, he's got his work. What he's doing, <clears throat> what he's doing, he's working out his position on the world stage and where he fits in and what he, how he can keep his country. So he's, I'm getting these this finger movement. Isn't that supposed to be some sort of, why am I doing this? He's doing these ones, which is the very important person. Um, plus, don't they say it's some sort of sign or something? I don't know. They always get Charles doing it, don't they? Um, but I'm getting, 
he, he's trying to work out how he can best prop up his country. So that's why he's doing like these ones. He's thinking, thinking, thinking. He's, he's having to do a lot of thinking. Um, so you're not hearing a lot from him at the moment because he's looking at how he's going to financially support his country. That's his main priority at the moment. He will get to the people, and I do feel he's doing his rounds and he's trying to be in people's faces, but he's not coming out with a lot of his plans and what his intentions are because I feel like he's still nutting that out at the moment. So you've still got this nice little period of a little bit of a holiday in New Zealand for a little while. Enjoy it while you can. That's all I can say. I'll come back in January. <laughs> like I keep saying, we'll reassess. I'm, get, I'm getting Canada. I'm getting Trudeau and visual, visuals of Trudeau. And I'm getting Canada. But I'm getting that you little people are lighting a few sparklers. Remember when I t had my little... 3,000 subscribers and I lit the sparkler and it was a little bit of fun and well I'm getting that for you guys you're having you're gonna have a few little wins I think um in Canada things are looking brighter I'm getting the sparklers that lit up um you're gonna have a few wins which is really awesome for the little people because you haven't had a lot of wins in the last four years with um Turdo but I am feeling there's a couple of little wins coming your way it could even be, you know, it could even be, is it Alberta? I know they're pretty awake in Alberta, isn't it? I feel like there's other states that are going to start to follow. And I feel that it could be around the transgender thing. I feel like they're going to block it from sports and not allow that to happen because they see the dangers and things like that. They're going to override, I feel like, Trudeau's decision. <laughs> He's such a knob, isn't he? He just keeps pushing that whole transgender thing. It's insane. Um... Oh, God, it's just mad to us, isn't it? But that's what I'm getting. So I feel like you guys are going to have a few more sparklers being lit and a little bit of, um, what's the word, victories, because I feel like a couple more, do you call them states? I don't know what you call them, states, counties. I don't know what you call them over there. We call them states here. Um, you're going to have a few wins. Um, people, more of the leadership people will be turning on Trudeau. That's what I'm getting. Let's hope so. Is it, um, I think it's Danielle, isn't it? One of the, is that the Alberta one? Who's the Alberta one? I don't know. But anyway, that's what I feel like is going to happen. So that's good, Canada. People are waking up. Like I said, that Pierre, is it Pierre Polier, Whatever his name is, the opposition leader. He's winning over a lot of people. He's directing to the point. Doesn't mince his words. Um, and he's going up, up, up. And Trudeau's popularity is going down, down, down. Oh, when do you go to the vote? God, I hope you go to the vote soon. It's probably a year away, is it? I don't know. But when you go to the vote, man, that'll be interesting. That's if it isn't rigged. Mm, that's always the big question here on this channel, isn't it? We do wonder sometimes. Example, America. Um, all right, let's see what happens, guys. And see, the thing is with America too, it just reminds me. Now, remember people in America. God, you've had it tough, you guys, over there. I don't know how you do it. It must fry your brain. Um, other people that are waking up over there are seeing the double standards. And what a joke the whole Trump show going through and being dragged through court is when Hunter Biden is known as the most corrupt bloody turnout ever. And no, nothing happens. Nothing. Nothing. So they see that it's you know, not making sense. And remember that Biden's rubbed people up the wrong way with the whole opening up the gates to uh, Mexican borders. Oh, yes. What a great idea that was. Let in all the immigrants and the cartel rub people up the wrong way. A lot of people too, not just a few. All right, let me see if there's one more thing and we'll pull some cards, guys. <clears throat> I'm getting this message for all of us. Um, they're just saying get rid of your fair weather friends. They're just saying you don't need them. You know, you don't need people who just sort of drift in and out and don't really care about you. And uh, I'm just getting that. I think sometimes with what we've all been through in the last four years, a lot of us have lost a lot of friends, even some family. Um, mostly friends, I think family will kind of come around in the end. Look at my mum. I can actually go into her house now because she wouldn't let me in her house for four years because I wasn't pickied. Um, but they do come around eventually. 
but I think a lot of us, we get torn, see, we, we're these people, because we're sensitives and we, we are aware of other people's feelings and we're empaths and all this kind of thing, we don't like to hurt people, but I think at the end of the day, what the guides are saying is, don't worry, because people don't even care, like, do what works for you, put yourself first, is what I'm getting, and not, and I always say, not in a selfish way, um, this is just to take care of yourself and ensure that you don't go back to negative places. So any sort of fair weather friends that just kind of drift in and drift out or see, I find that sometimes, um, on my channel, not on my channel, rather, um, in my life, um, that I've got people who, for example, Facebook, it's very bad. I don't do it very often because I don't think it's healthy for me because I'll see really good friends of mine who'll come to me for advice and that you would be the same, guys. I know that you get asked for a lot of advice, especially when you're intuitives and psychics. People will ask you, but then they don't care about you the rest of the time, but then they kind of drift in when they want something or this is kind of what the guides are saying. Um, that's just what I'm getting. Well, they're saying like have good discernment. Um, and, and what they get saying is just have good respect for yourself. Put, put the walls up when you need to put the walls up. It's okay because that's protecting yourself from being drained of energy by fair weather friends who... <sighs> and they probably don't know they're doing it, but they use people up for their own advantage. Be aware of it. It's just something that the guides are saying to us. Hang on a sec. Oh, yeah, I'm getting Remembrance Day, of course. It's not like it was. It, it's changing. Remembrance Day is changing. It's like I said the other day. Um, people have lost people through many, many different wars and things now and many different situations. So Veterans Day is and Remembrance Day is becoming a broader thing now. Um you know, we used to have the world wars and then you'd have the Vietnam War and all these kind of wars worldwide. But now it's becoming broader. You know, you're getting the Afghanistan War. You're getting these crazy... Uh, it's just getting broader because a lot of people have lost people in different kinds of war situations. So the guides are saying you can't expect remembrance day to be the same as it was because the world is changing the world is changing and it is changing look at the tsunami wave that's starting to come over everybody it is changing um and the thing is different cultures see things differently and we're very multicultural now um you know what we probably a lot of people would see remembrance day as you know standing there quietly having this four hours of respecting everything some countries don't work that way. Some countries are volatile and like to vent um, what they feel. It's just how it is. It just That's what the guides are saying. Don't expect Remembrance Day and Veterans Day to be the same as it was because it's never going to be. That's just what I'm getting. It's not the same anymore. And again, it's change. Everything changes. Everything changes. That's why I say to you, if you're going to remember, just do it in your own home. You know, you can remember them any day. It doesn't have to just be on that day. Like who who said it had to be on that day? You can remember people whenever you choose, can't you? It's just change. Everything changes. All right, how about I pull some cards for us all, guys? Um, I'm going to pull an Awaken card from that chinny, the Eagle Energy. I might, yeah, let's pull an Awaken. Oh. Breathe, relax, and calm your mind. That's something we have to do constantly, guys, isn't it? Calm our minds. Oh, I'm fogging up. Um, when I see that swelling in the stomach, that's a little bit um, too much going on, a little bit of anxiety, a little bit worked up, a little bit overwhelmed. That's why we're getting that message to calm the mind. Calm the clutter, guys. Take it away and out of your mind. Get out in nature, too. When I see all that greenery, that's get out in nature today. Go and enjoy your backyards or go for a bushwalk. Just do anything that's going to calm your mind. I attract only the highest vibrations. Let go. Oh, see that comes, that that's beautiful, isn't it? Look at the crystal kind of energy there. 
She's even got her eyes closed. When I see that, like that letting go, that's like almost getting rid of your fair weather friends too and people and things that don't serve you anymore to stay in your highest vibrations. But when I see her eyes closed, that to me is her tuning into her senses and listening, um, feeling, smelling, listening, opening up your other senses, not just your visual, not just your visual. Um, open up your other senses as well and listen to your thoughts as well these are interesting cards aren't they actually oh we always get this one i stand strong and flexible in mind and body yoga <clears throat> and there's that little crystal <laughs> a lot of us have knee troubles here we've got to do more stretching i'm still doing my qigong guys um i stand strong and flexible in mind and body do whatever you can to keep your body supple bring that harmony into your body guys Obviously, stretching is a huge way of doing that. Could be anything. It's really about looking after yourself. It doesn't mean you have to go into yoga. It just means you've got to probably be aware of your body too and what its needs are. That's what I'm getting with that, what its needs are. What do you need to do? It could be that you go get a massage. You know, we talk about that here a lot too. Things like that that help your body to be more supple. Um, I'm going to pull us an affirmation card today, guys. These are my relaxed cards. Since we're getting the yoga message, let's see what we get. Oh, jumped out. Give your stress wings and let it fly away. Oh, we've had that before, haven't we? See, stress doesn't serve you. And often they talk about stress being um, self-created, don't they? Like you create it yourself. Um, well, that's what I'm getting. Let it fly away like a little birdie on the horizon. Um, just let your stress go. Um, we don't need it anymore. Let it just flutter away. Um, we've got better at that, haven't we, guys? We've got better at letting things go. Let me see if there's anything. Hang on. Yeah, and I'm getting that song chorus. And the wings of an eagle, I find myself drifting to the sky, drifting on the walls across the sea. And the wings of an eagle, I find myself drifting through the sky. Don't know who sings it, but you know that song. It's an oldie and a goldie. Beautiful song. So that's the message we're getting. Wings of an eagle, just, just fly free, guys. Let all the stress go. We don't need it, do we? We really don't. It's not ours to deal with anymore. Um, okay, yesterday I'm going to do my viewer readings now, guys. Um, yesterday I did you, Sue, and Adam. I said that tonight. So go check those out. I know you have. I've got to get back to your comments, guys. I, I will get to them today. And today, first off, I'm going to be pulling a card for Suzuki. Is that how you say it? I can never say your name. S-U-S-U-K-E-81-A. You always comment on my channel. You always watch my videos and I do appreciate it. Um, and you live here in Australia as well. Um, I'm going to put you an angel answer card and we'll see what comes up for you today. You're always very busy. You're always out and about doing things. You have a very, um, you have a fairly active life. You like stimulation, is what I'm getting. Oh, let go. There's your message, you've got to let go. I feel like you hang on to a lot of things, but the, you, you've really got to do this releasing. And and the thing is, when you release, Suzuki, I'm gonna call you, when you release Suzuki, um, you get better guidance because here, if you look at that, look how it's coming from the higher mind, right up, you get really good guidance from your higher mind. I feel like you're extremely intuitive. Um, you are sensitive, um, but you've got to listen to your guidance more. You've got to let go and you, you see you're not, the thing is what they're showing me is you're not trusting in the universe. Um, you've got to let go and let them guide you I feel like sometimes you step off the path. They're trying to guide you, but because you're a little bit close to things, I feel like you step off onto the wrong path sometimes. You've got to get yourself back onto the path and learn to flow in your life. It's really important. Um, 
So you're not, the thing is what you, what's happening, you're not trusting. <clears throat> You've got to trust in the universe. They're leading you. So trust your guides, your guidance, your messages um, to take you where you need to go. I feel like that's what's happening with you. You're, um, and I do feel like that you're very benevolent. It's showing me um, you embrace situations really well. Um, you like trying new things. Nothing, nothing weirds you out. You're actually willing to try new things. Um, and you can handle a lot. I feel like you're a very strong person. Um, you actually are very strong emotionally. I feel like you can handle a lot of things. Um, and I feel like you've had a lot of turbulent times in your life too. And, and, and you know, you know in your gut that you've grown um, from all these things spiritually. You understand that now looking back <clears throat> over your life. <clears throat> you know that everything's led you to a better place. I do feel like you have a very good understanding of that. Um, you see that you see things very differently than you did when you were a child, for example, which is like most of us here who've been through the awakening. Um, let go. And also what it's saying is if you let go, you release that tension in your body. <clears throat> I feel like you're carrying a lot of tension. I'm getting tension across the back area here. There's a lot of, I feel like there's tightness building up. Perhaps headaches um, might be a frequent thing, like mild, not, not major, but enough that it's like a bit uncomfortable sometimes. You know, you might you might need to put like the wheat bag on or there's something like that. I feel like, and whenever I think of upper back, I think of burdens. You carry a lot of burdens. It feels to me like you've got, as much as you may have dropped the emotional backpack, I feel like underneath your backpack, there was like another backpack. It's showing me almost like, you know those water backpacks that people carry when they go bike riding and that and they drink the water? It's like you had a hidden water pack that you didn't realize was there and it's heavy because it's full of water. So you've also got to drop this excess, it's saying excess emotions. You know, and it, the reason they're showing me the water is because it's about flow. You've got stagnant water sitting like in this backpack on your back, like a water drinking water backpack. Um, you're not flowing. That's why they're giving me the water. Oh, I'm showing you the back of the cup. That's why they're giving me the water as the example. You've still, you're still holding some burdens that you now have to drop and release and you have to let them flow and move through you. That's really important, Suzuki. Um, you've still got um, some burdens and some weights. I'm going to pull you a soul expression card and that might give you a little bit of a um, bit of an idea of what's in this. What's this? Ah, that jumped out. Artistic. I express, my, I express myself artistically. I allow the vibration of creation into my life. There you go. Uh, I'll see if I can get it to focus. I find trouble, I have trouble focusing these cards. So I'll just read it to you. Artistic. I express myself artistically. I allow the vibration of creation into my life. That's what you're not doing. You've got to get right into your creativity and your passions. Um, and obviously you're, you're artistic in some area. It could be anything. It doesn't have to be that you're a painter. It could be that you're a writer. It could be that you're very um, into poetry. Artistic, it could be that you... you um, oh. Art can be so many things. You might do scrapbooking. Look, it doesn't matter what it is, but they're saying this is how you get the flow more because when your mind, we say it all the time here, Suzuki, when your mind's on other things and you're creating, everything else falls away. That's what happens with creativity and passions. That's why it works so well. So that's what I want you to do. I want you to get back into your artistic vibes and that will help you to flow more. That's how you start to release all the, this heaviness and burdens that you're still carrying. You have to let them go and you have to let your life take you. You keep stepping off your path. Let the guides take you there. If you're walking down the street and they say go into that shop, go into that shop because you're going to find something in there that's going to uplift you. That's what they're leading you to. So I want you to listen to it. That's my message for you today. Get back to your artistic ways. It could be anything. They're showing me so many things like calligraphy, writing, 
Um, I'm just getting lots of different things. Maybe you are very artistic. I don't know, but that's what I'm getting for you. Um, get back to that because that's how you get your flow back. Oh, I hope that helped you, Suzuki, today. Um, the next person I'm going to pull a card for is Hello. Hi, Hello. Um, I always call you Hello. I don't know your name, but we all know you here as Hello. You always send great vibes. You always have the sticks on the eyes. Send love, light, and energy. You are a very kindly person, and I just want you to know that I do appreciate you watching my videos. You've been watching for a very long time as well. So I'm going to pull you also an Angel Answers card. Hello. Let's see what we get. Oh, the air conditioning is nice. I've got to go out and mow in a minute. My knee's pretty good today, guys. So I'm going to go and mow. Because <laughs> my lawn's long, but it's going to be so hot. Oh, big happy changes. That's fantastic. Look at you. I feel like you're in a really good place. I feel like you're there's something happening around you that's really uplifting your soul. It's that, yay, look at the picture. It's beautiful. Um, maybe you're a person who really loves Christmas or something like that. You love getting together or you love that, getting their decorations out. Could be something as simple as that. That's just like the visuals they're giving me. Um, it brings you a lot of joy and happiness. Um, it's so it's saying even like wrapping presents or something like that. You love gift giving. You're a really giving person. You give a lot of light to other people. And you know, it's almost saying in that card that just your energy alone is like a gift. You have to see your energy alone as a gift. It's like when you, people see you, it's like they pull the ribbon and ta-da, there you are. You're like this beautiful shining light gift that brings hope, happiness, and um, great energy to a situation. So I feel like not only do you enjoy um, oh, festivities, but I also feel like you create it because you bring it. That's your gift to people. You bring happiness um, and light. That's what people see in you. You're like this, they undo the ribbon and there you are. Ta-da! This, this beautiful ball of energy and light. That's what I see in you. It's almost like showing me like a fiesta. Not a, yeah, like a fiesta with rainbows and like, they're showing me like uh, Mexican pinatas and like fun, you like fun. And they're showing me color. I'm getting like little rainbows and like little donkey pinatas and it's almost like a, you love festive stuff that's what i'm getting so that could be that you love the festive season but that's what i'm getting for you a lot of joy happiness light fun-filled activities um you embrace life really well you have an ability to embrace situations and make the most of them that's what i'm getting for you hello you're um you're a high vibe energy of fun, laughter, and you know what you are to people? You're a good medicine. You're a good medicine. <laughs> That's nice. You're like a really good medicine. You, you, make, you give people hope, you give people laughter, and you give people joy. Oh, that's beautiful, hello, isn't it? Look at that. That's what you do to people's lives. Um, let's pull a soul expression card for you as well. Wow, that's a great card, hello. You must just vibrate very high a lot and people really, really pick it up from you. Oh, self-confidence. I'm an amazing soul. I'm worthy of being self-confident. Oh. And so you know that. You know that you have a right to feel confident. You have a right to feel worthy. Um, you have a right to feel special. And, and you do it with great dignity. You do it with humility. You do it with dignity. Um, and you know what, hello? It inspires other people around you. You're very inspirational to people. You, you make people focus on their own critical thinking. You have this way of getting people to look within and trust their own thinking mind. So, um, yeah, that's a real gift, self-confidence. You have a very, very good belief in yourself. And I do believe that that started when you were a child. You might have got, um, your confidence might have been fed, fed, um, from a young child um, 
and they're saying to me, you're very rich, but not rich in the sense of money and, and wealth and had everything. You were rich in, your, in the sense that I feel like you had a fairly good life. You were taught a lot of very good um, morals and ways to support other people very young. So I feel like they're tools that you've always had in your toolbox about not only being self-confident within yourself, but also teaching others how to improve their life and be self-confident as well. Um, and bring out the best in them. That's that's what you've got in your toolbox. An ability to also help others with their self-confidence. Oh, that's a lovely reading. Hello. Um, all right. I'm going to see if there's one more thing to finish off with. I hope those little readings helped you guys. And I'll see if there's one more thing. Oh, I'm getting Fleetwood Mac again. <laughs> I've had so much Fleetwood Mac this week. I'm getting that song, Don't Stop. Thinking about tomorrow, don't stop. It'll soon be here. It'll be here better than before. Yesterday's gone. Yesterday's gone. Um, that's a great song. I want you to go and listen to the words of that song today because what the guides are saying is don't stop thinking about tomorrow because tomorrow will be here better than before. So that's great. That's what we want. Just, you know, Keep planning, keep goal setting for some of you out there that I've been talking about as well. Keep moving forward. That's what they're saying. Um, you know, that stupid saying tomorrow never comes. Well, <laughs> you know, it's a bit crazy, isn't it, really? But just keep focusing forward, guys. And that's the message I'm going to leave you with today. All right, I'm going to say goodbye from Australia. Have a wonderful Sunday, everybody, and wonderful weekend. It's Sunday morning here, and I'm off to mow the lawn, as you know. Um, take care. I'll come on and talk to you tomorrow. Um, stay strong, everybody, and just... Keep protecting yourself, you know, that's the most crucial message always from the guides. All right, I'm going to say goodbye from Australia. Like buttons, please comment and subscribe to my channel and I'll talk to you very soon. Take care, everyone. Bye.